match with with the trip mm. so okay it's a dangerous foul if you get a little tougher on that you can hurt your friend there we see two players set to take it it will be Terans putting the ball inside of the box no one to get the ball to the back of the net Nicolas Hernandez was the closest player inside and now there's a player down Set to take it, it will be Terence putting the ball inside of the box! No one to get the ball to the back of the net, Nicolas Hernandez was the closest player in sight. And now, there's a player down for Avaí. no offsides on the play. And there we see Nicolas Hernandez. And it was Ranielli that went to the floor. Yeah, he almost hit the post. You can see that. Yeah, and he hit the, the knee of, the, of Douglas. And Douglas almost didn't budge. All the ref says, no. And the game goes on. Yeah, I don't think it was a fault. Nicolás Hernández on the right. Once again restarting for Atlético. The ball was launched forwards. Trying to find Tomás Coelho. A nice pass to Pablo. He tries the shoot. Douglas Friedrich with a good defense. Canabio will get possession once again for Atlético. The ball gets to Terans. Terans tries to show up. He brings the play to a little backwards and brings Christian into play. He opens up the pitch, finds Pablo once again. The former São Paulo player shakes off the pitch and <laughs> because like, when it hits yeah, a little when, lower, it, it hurts on the abdomen. Yeah, and when you shake the legs like that, yeah, yeah usually it's, it's down there. It hurts. Yeah. It hurts. Knocks you out. It's, it seems like you're going to spit two uh, billiard balls. Yeah. Let's check this out Not once again. Not very pleasant. Great, great shot by Pablo. And a great save and by great Douglas. Save. Yeah. He kind of sends it back in the box. So I think he could have that a little better. But yeah, it, it was a great shot. So he, he did what, what he could do. There's Tomás Coelho on the left. He tries a through ball, looking once again for Canobio inside of the box, but the ball will get to Tomás Coelho once again. Nice pass to Christian. Abner finds Christian amidst the defense. Christian with a nice pass there. And there was Artur Chaves to save Avaí. A nice play by Atlético. And Terence with the finishing. That ball would be inside of the net if it wasn't for Arturian. Yeah, a great save by, by the defender. And, and seems that it was with the hand. The VAR is calling for the ref. That ball would be inside of the net if it wasn't for Arturian. Yeah, a great save by, by the defender. And, and seems that it was with the hand. The VAR is calling for the ref. Because it seems that Artur was caught. Going to the other side, had to break, couldn't put his body on, and opened yeah. up his arm. The VR is calling Flavio Rodriguez to check out the images because this could be a PK for Atlético. Yeah, and when VR look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's a penalty. When look. the VR goes that fast, you know <laughs> it, it it will be a penalty. He clearly opened his arm to touch the ball with his elbow. The good finishing from David Terence calling Flavio Rodriguez to check out the images because this could be a PK for Atlético. Yeah, and when VAR look at that. Yeah, yeah, that's a penalty. When look. the VAR goes that fast, you know <laughs> it, it it will be a penalty. He clearly opened his arm to touch the ball with his elbow. The good finishing from David Terence. Now Arthur Chavez being watched by the ref as he comes and goes forwards backwards checking every angle to see if the pk should be awarded he signs for the var and the yeah. penalty kick is awarded to atlético as he comes and goes forwards backwards checking every angle to see if the pk should be awarded he signs for the VAR. And the yeah. penalty kick is awarded to Atletico. In the first great play of the match, Atletico gets the PK. Yeah, then there's no doubt about that. Let's see, he was he was pulling a card, maybe a yellow card. It. 
as the ref now points out to the players to be out of the lines. Bruno Silva is already in once again. The referee blows. David Terans. He goes for the PK. Goal! It's Atlético! A classic penalty kick. David Terence dislocating Douglas Friedrich to the right. He finds the left of the goalkeeper, who didn't even make the picture. Now Atlético Paranaense 1, Havaí 0. When Atlético finally found the way in the good play to get inside of the box. Yeah, yeah after a good play, the, the penalty. And Terence a great finish uh, out of reach. And as we say here in Brazil, Douglas will not be in the picture, right? Uh, he was dislocated, and yeah, yeah, I think it's fair. It was a, a really great chance they they had there. Uh, Arthur Chavez chose to to pull his arm in this space. But where where is the six second rule? Never see that apply in the game. Never in history. Cortez once again trying to head the ball away. The ball gets back and Terans will have the opportunity. It was Christian with the best opportunity besides the PK. Face to face against Douglas Friedrich. He had all the space in the world and couldn't find the best kick. Yeah, yeah he, he was all alone. He was here in the goalkeeper. Yeah, you gotta, you gotta seize the opportunities. Now Atletico showing pressure. Arthur Chaves is forced to punt the ball away and Atletico will have the throw in once again. Atletico seems... There we see Tomás Coelho shaking out against Kevin. Terans taking Bruno Silva off the play. He tries to swerve around, tries to find some space. Abner opens up with Tomás Coelho once again against Kevin. Finds a good pass inside of the box. It's Terans! Mastermind of the Hurricanes finding some space inside of the box. David Terans gets control of the ball after an amazing pass by Tomas Coelho. He had space, found a shoot with his left leg on the different corner of Douglas Friedrich to put Atlético now twice ahead. Now Atlético 2, Havaí 0, Terence his third goal in Brasileirão. Once again coming from the left side of the pitch. Yeah, we talk about that. Uh, Kevin is not that great defensively and the play happens right there. A great pass by Coelho and a great finish by Terence and you can be sure he's becoming from the hat-trick. Let's yeah. check out who left the pitch. If it was Eduardo, it's uh, it's the confirmation that Avai don't want to play here today. Yeah, it's not that much of a change. Uh, you got fresh legs, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Now. Oh. A forceful take back and the penalty kick is awarded! That's everything Avaí wanted to open up the second half! Dentinho shaking off the defense and finding the PK against Nicolas Hernandez! Let's check out this once again. There we see the Dentinho clearing out. It was Hugo Moura. That's everything Avaí wanted to open up the second half. Dentinho shaking off the defense and finding the PK against Nicolas Hernandez. Let's check out this once again. There we see the Dentinho clearing out. It was Hugo Moura. And I don't know. Yeah, I think he was barely inside the box. I think they would. Yeah, let's see. Mm, yeah. I don't even think that's so enough sure. for a PK. Yeah. But I think it's. Uh, he gave a PK there. He gives a PK here. So, yeah. And yeah, Matheus Galdes, only coming in play for Eduardo. He talks to. To Morato on the side. Asks the assistant to take a look on Morato. Now he authorizes it. There comes William Potker! Bento! And another PK! 
Oh Another my God. penalty kick on Twin and Potke. That's crazy, man. Potke tried to go for the lob. Bento was ready. Saved Atletico. Bento was ready. Saved Atletico. But on the following of the play, William Potker went to fight for possession. There we see once again Bento saving. The player from, from Atletico tried to punch the ball away. And Potke got a foot nearing the ball. There yeah, we see it was Kelvin. And that, that is a PK. That is a PK. Yeah, the crowd is not happy, but it is a PK. But what a situation. William Potke missing the PK. Bento is behind bars. There goes William Potker. Goal! It's Avaiz goal! Oh. Avaiz, I think they they're still struggling to to keep the ball on the ground and have some movement. And look at Terence. Nice pass. He finds Pablo. The shoot was really close. Christian was the one on the finish. And he couldn't once again find the target. So Avaí will have the goal kick after another scare by the feet of Terence once again. Yeah, and if he, if he scores there, that, uh, I think it's game over. I think uh, the only fire Avaí has right now, that would be a, a cold ice bucket on that fire. But yeah, was was not a great shot. There we see Teranzo, we see Pablo, we see Canobio, all talking to each other, and we also see the intruder, Marcinho, there, trying to get some information on who will be kicking this free kick. Kelvin went there to talk to something, and look at that, the wall once again really close. Yeah, that's not nine meters. The kick will be taken. Pablo goes for it. Teranzo after the fake. That's not the best of the kicks, and Avai will have the goal kick once again. The yeah. line was five meters behind. Yeah, come on, <laughs> come on. Uh, it's it's uh, it's amazing how the ref don't see that. They, uh, no, it's not that they don't see; they don't care. Yeah, they choose not to see. Now there's any tries the pass to Bruno Silva, but once again a good defense and a bad pass by Pedro Henrique. Pedro Henrique is now on the floor in a lot of pain. And that's another yellow card, I think. 